Namaste. So today we are going to be presenting our project for the ATL marathon. And our group is me, Samil Shavashisht, and my GC number is 23161. Shreya S. And her GC number is 23017. And our third team member is Shadda S. Reddy, and her GC number is 23087. So we have chosen the second problem statement and the topic of it is economy and the question is innovate to increase the productivity manage scale speed and sustainability in agriculture to ben benefit the farmers we have chosen this particular question because we want to help the farmers out there and especially during this pandemic these farmers are facing a lot of problems and also like the they grow many crops but due to the pollution global warming and natural disasters occurring in our world they are losing their crops and also though we pay a lot of money to buy these healthy crops food vegetables fruits still these farmers don't get the amount of money they should receive so here we have chosen this topic so we can help out to with the farmers and so they can like live a good life. I'm Samiksha Vashisht and I will be talking about how we can increase the speed of growing crops and the two main topics I'll be talking about in this are the organic farming and the use of fertilizers and pesticides. So what is organic farming? Organic farming can be defined as a system of management and agricultural production that combines a high level of biodiversity with environmental practices that preserve natural resources and has rigorous standards of animal welfare. Organic farming is a type of farming where there's no there's no fertilizers or pesticides or any chemicals added in the crops, fruits or vegetables the farmers are growing. And these are fully natural crops, and these are the most healthy types of crops you can eat. Now, the second way is the use of fertilizers and pesticides. So fertilizers are used to supply crops with essential nutrients for growth and to help replenish the soil of key elements once a crop has been extracted by them during the growth process and fertilizers usually help in giving the minerals to the soil and especially nitrogen um, so the soil gets healthy and it's ready for another crop to grow pesticides on the other hand are chemicals which are used to control weeds and insects which pose a threat to crop production and pesticides help keep uh, dirty insects which might eat the plant so pesticides and fertilizers if these two are put then the crop is a bit chemicalized but still the crop is still a bit healthy but it has some chemicals and when you eat these crops it does get in your body but these chemicals are also good for you because there's nitrogen and different minerals in it and uh, these two ways are help in growing the crops faster Sustainable agriculture basically means meeting the current generation needs that be food or textile without compromising the ability of the future generations to also meet their needs. Practicing sustainable um, farming methods can help in increasing productivity and reduce ecological harm. Sustainable agriculture enables higher resource efficiency. Like they help produce greater agricultural output by using less land, water and energy, ensuring the profitability for the farmers. Here are a few practices which guarantee a green and environmentally friendly growth of vegetables and plants. 1. Permaculture Permaculture is a food production method which mimics how vegetables and plants grow in natural ecosystems. It applies natural principles which combine intention, smart farming and designing to reduce waste of resources and increase production efficiency. 2. Aquaponics and Hydroponics These particular farming methods involve soilless plants and vegetable growth, feeding the plants with the nutrients which are carried by the water. 3. Using renewable energy resources Sustainable farming involves the use of all using alternative energy sources such as hydropower, solar power or wind farms which are eco-friendly. 
Solar panels can be used to run pumping and heat systems. Also, hydroelectric uh, power sources from the river water can also be used to run waste, various machinery. 3. Crop rotation and polyculture and multi-tier agriculture. Farmers can decrease the chances of plant vegetable diseases through crop diversification on a surface of land and, uh, and by using crop rotation techniques. Uh, these practices can also reduce the amount of pesticides and chemical fertilizers required. When multi tier um, agriculture helps in the usage of land efficiently by tiering the crops, which in turn gives a higher amount of yield, which results in higher amount of profit, that means more money for a better meal. Wrapping it up, sustainable farming is the key for a better tomorrow. Promoting sustainability across the farming value chain guarantees increased food production capacities and an active environmental protection. If you are thinking how to increase the farming productivity and profits, here are some simple methods that we would absolutely refer to. Some ways to increase the farming productivity and increase profits are 1. Smart water management. Using drop-by-dropper sprinkler irrigation systems, you can increase crop yields up to 50%. 2. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is the key element needed for good, crop, good plant growth. Efficient use of nitrogen can increase crop yields by 22%. Third is fertilizers. Fertilizers replace the nutrients that crops remove from the soil. Without the addition of fertilizers, crop yields and agricultural productivity would be significantly reduced. That's why mineral fertilizers are used to supplement the soil's nutrient stocks with minerals that can be quickly observed and used by crops. Fourth is conservation tillage. By, by applying conservation tillage practices, you save time, fuel and machinery wear. Drip irrigation is a type of micro-irrigation system that has the potential to save water and nutrients by allowing water to drip slowly to the roots of plants, either from above the soil surface or buried below the surface. The goal is to place water directly into the root zone and minimize evaporation. Here is a small project to show you all how a farm should be engineered to get a larger number of production and profits. I have included drip irrigation using solar energy and wind energy. The energy which comes from the solar and wind panels are used to run the motors from where the drip irrigation works. For maintaining this kind of a farm, we have huge benefits for the crops as well as the farmers. The crops get a huge amount of water and nutrients, doses of water and nutrients tailored to the plant's development needs, no saturation and good soil aeration, and many more uses. The farmers prefer drip irrigation because there is a higher consistent quality yields, huge water savings, no evaporation, no runoff, no waste, energy savings. Drip irrigation works on low, low pressure and has many more benefits. Any crop can be grown using drip irrigation. From field crops such as corn, soya bean or sugarcane to vegetables and tree crops. Either growing in a soil or in a soilless media, on a flat field or on a sloping terrain. Drip irrigation fits all topographies. The only de decision is choosing the right drip configuration based on your crop and field conditions. Drip irrigation is known to be the most efficient irrigation methods with 95 to 100% water use efficiency. This is compared to sprinkler systems that have 80 to 85% water use efficiency of flood or and furrow that are 60 to 70% efficient. Efficiency is related to the effectiveness of the system on crop performance and eventually on yields and profitability of the farm. Out of our entire population, that is 1.3 billion, the number of farmers is 100 million and I'm sure that's not a small number. Speaking factually, in our own country, at least two farmers commit suicide every hour. Not really all farmers commit suicide because of indebtedness, even though it is a major reason our politicians know about that. According to a 2016 survey, the annual income of a farming household is rupees 20,000, which means rupees 1,700 per month and rupees 56 per day. Do you think rupees 1,700 is enough for one whole family for just a month? 
52% of the farmers suicide because of indebtedness. And speaking factually, on an average, the debt is about to be 47,000 to 60,000. If the farmer's income can barely cover their household expenses, then how will they pay off their debt? So why do these farmers don't receive good amount of income and they receive very low income? The majority of the farmers don't even get a fair payment despite working so hard in the sun every single day. And there are some ways we can help these farmers. If you're wondering what these three ways are, it is first to buy produce directly from the farmers, ignoring the middlemen as the middleman often counts profit for himself. And this profit, he keeps it for himself, but doesn't give it to the farmer. Then second is to spread the word for farmers. Encourage your friends and family to turn organic and buy products from the local farmer. And also like tell it on the media and promote going to the farmer and buying these products. The third way is to promote local stores that sells local products. Going to vocal for local is not a bad decision when it comes to agricultural products because you get better quality products. And the quality will also be comparatively high to the ones you buy in those middle men's stores. Speaking about costs, you might get a better deal, but never ask for discount because the money you pay here is going to the farmer and this money is actually for you also because you're keeping good health and gives you and also gives you a satisfaction that you're giving something to the farmers so um we want to thank the mentors for giving this opportunity to us to do the atl marathon because um this marathon is something we get to learn a lot about and we get to think and also we get to bring out what is inside us we have learned a lot through this project and we also had a lot of teamwork working together and we learned different ways we can help the farmers and what we can do for them so thank you very much